and I'm Albert Collins. Thank you. And then we in the booze, we got the tea. I think, I think, really, I think I met the blues when I was born. But uh, I, to remember, as long as I can remember, I, I, I don't guess I know what the blues was, but I, I would take rubber bands and things and try and make some kind of noise out of it. Anything I could stretch tight enough to make, make noise, I, I did that. And from the day one when I heard a guitar, I was like, whatever that is, that's me. What happened, uh, my first guitar got, I was working in a little, uh, a place called Rib Oaks Drug Store. And my first hollow box guitar electric was uh, Epiphone. And the, the people at the drug store bought this guitar for me. And then I had to work every week and pay them back, you know. That's how I got my first guitar, you know. But I think before that, you, you had some homemade guitars. Yeah, right? well, I had the first, well, that was, you know, made out of cigar box. <laughs> And I hear you put with, some strange with, with things. With hay baling wire, you know. And you put some strange things in it. Oh, yeah, I put some nails in it. To and rattle snakes, too? Uh... Well, after I had got my hollow box, I, uh, a friend of mine went and got some rattlesnake rattlers and dried them out, killed about two or three rattlesnakes, and dried them out and put them inside of my box, you know. It makes it sound good. My first guitar was a, a guitar made by a company called Harmony, and it was an acoustic, and it was called the Sovereign. And I kept that for maybe uh, a matter of about three weeks. Because <laughs> I wanted a, an electric guitar. If you don't know the blues, you can't play rock and roll. Simple as that. You make pop music. And there's nothing wrong with pop music. But uh, you ain't going to be able to play rock and roll if you don't know your blues. You had a special uh, relation with Jimi Hendrix, I think. Was it, was it a shock for you, what he did to the blues, the way he put it through his woe-woe and uh, a lot of... Well, that, that, that's, that wasn't the blues he was playing. He, he left from that and started playing psychedelic music, which caught on to the young kids. And uh, he had blues mixture with it, but actually, uh, he was, you know, he just upgraded it. You know? And a lot of people didn't call it blues. But I think the roots are the same, it's a basic core. It is the roots, it's the same, but you know, a lot of people have to know music to all understand that. And, 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 and when you present this to like 15, 16-year-old kids, they say, oh, he playing psychedelic music, and they don't think about blues. <laughs> 